Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Autocar India Quick News. Coming up over the next few minutes is your weekly snapshot to all the latest from the world of automobiles. But before we begin, do hit subscribe to the Autocar India channel and press the bell icon to stay notified on all our latest uploads. Tata Motors has launched its factory fitted iCNG technology in the Tiago Antigor. Prices for the CNG trims of the Tiago start from 6.09 lakh rupees while its compact sedan sibling the Tiguan CNG starts at 7.69 lakh rupees ex showroom Delhi. Tata Motors has introduced the Tiago CNG in four variants while the Tiguan CNG is available in the top two trims. The CNG versions on the two cars command a premium of 90,000 rupees over their equivalent petrol powered variants. Under the hood both cars come powered by Tata's 1.2 liter three cylinder Revton petrol engine. While the engine produces 86 horsepower and 113 Nm in its petrol mode, when switched to CNG there is a 15% drop in power and torque figures to 73 horsepower and 95 newton meters. There is no automatic transmission on option and the CNG kit is only offered with a 5-speed manual transmission. The Tata Tiago and Tiguan CNG get an ARAI certified fuel efficiency figure of 26.49 km per kg despite the additional weight of around 100 kg of the CNG cylinder placed in the boot. The usable boot space however has significantly reduced with the Tiago i CNG offering 80 liters compared to 242 liters in the standard car while the Tiguan's boot space is down from 419 to 205 liters in the CNG variant. In terms of visual changes the two cars remain absolutely identical to the standard petrol variants barring the placement of an i CNG badge on the tailgate. The equipment list has been carried forward too with the two cars sporting a 7 inch infotainment system with Harman audio setup in their top spec CNG variants. Furthermore, Tata Motors has added more features to the XZ Plus trims of both Tiago and Tiguan in their petrol as well as CNG variants. The two cars now get a premium black and beige interior in the top spec XZ Plus trim with introduction of projector headlamps with LED DRLs in the Tiago XZ Plus. While a new midnight plum paint shade has been introduced in the top end Tiago, the Tiguan XZ Plus trims get a new magnetic red color option. The top end Tiguan also gets rain sensing wipers, automatic headlamps as well as a dual tone roof option. Maruti Suzuki 2 has introduced the second generation Celerio in a CNG variant priced at 6.58 lakh rupees ex showroom Delhi. Unlike Tata Motors that has a wider variant mix for its CNG models, Maruti has introduced the CNG option only in Celerio's mid-spec VXI variant which commands a premium of 95000 rupees over the equivalent petrol powered trim. The Celerio CNG comes powered by the same 1 liter 3 cylinder dual jet engine that also does duty in the petrol versions of the hatchback. However, there is a 10 horsepower reduction in power to 57 horsepower and torque is lowered by 6.9 Nm to 82.1 Newton meters in the CNG mode. A 5-speed manual transmission is the sole gearbox option on offer. The Celerio CNG boasts an ARAI certified fuel efficiency of 35.6 km per kg. While there are no visual elements other than the CNG stickers affixed on the front and rear windscreens to tell from the petrol variant, the Celerio CNG gets features such as central locking, all four power windows and electronically adjustable rear view mirrors as well. Tata Motors has also introduced the dark edition variant on the Safari. The latest addition to the Tata Safari lineup is the dark edition variant which comes priced from 19.05 lakh rupees ex showroom. The dark edition Safari comes finished in the Oberon black paint shade and also gets gloss black elements on the grille, headlight and window surrounds. The alloy wheels get a black treatment as well. The dark edition also gets an exclusive all black interior theme with highlights like a black stone matrix insert on the dashboard. The Safari Dark Edition is based on the top spec XT Plus and XZ Plus trims of the Safari and continues to offer features like an 8.8 inch touchscreen infotainment system, a wireless charger and JBL audio setup. It also gets other exclusive features like ventilated seats on the first and second rows, an air purifier and wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It also remains mechanically unchanged and is powered by the same 170 horsepower 2 liter diesel engine with options of a 6 speed manual or a 6 speed torque converter automatic transmission. BMW has launched the refreshed version of the X3 in India with prices starting from 59.9 lakh rupees ex showroom. The SUV is available in two petrol only trims. The refreshed X3 gets a more prominent kidney grille flanked by new adaptive LED headlamps and a revised front bumper. There are new 19 inch alloy wheels with free upgrade to 20 inch units to customers who have pre-booked their X3s. The rear also gets changes to the bumper and a sleeker pair of tail lamps with new LED inserts. On the inside the center console gets a new 12.35 inch touchscreen on the M Sport variant while the Sport X Plus trim features a smaller 10.25 inch unit. For the moment the X3 is available solely with a 2 liter turbo petrol engine that produces 252 horsepower and 350 Nm of peak torque. An 8 speed automatic transmission and all wheel drive system come as a standard fit. Diesel versions will join the lineup soon. And in an exciting update we are set to bring a very special kind of automotive awards once for used cars. 
The used car market is a force to reckon with and to applaud the players in this segment, the inaugural pre-owned car awards will be hosted by OLX Autos in partnership with Autocar India. The awards will soon be held over a virtual medium. The pre-owned car awards have been spread across three main categories, highest residual value, R choice and special awards. A total of 13 awards are up for grabs in this hotly contested space with votes from our jury and you, the viewer. To vote for your favorite used car and know more details on the nominees, log on to our website autocarindia.com. Toyota has revealed details of the Hilux pickup truck for India. Bookings for the upcoming Toyota Hilux have begun for a sum of 1 lakh rupees, with prices slated to be announced in March this year. The Hilux will be locally assembled in India at Toyota's plant in Karnataka and will be available in two trims, low and high. It will be sold in a sold double cap body style. The Hilux comes underpinned by Toyota's IMV or innovative multi-purpose vehicle ladder frame platform that also spawns the Innova Crista and Fortuner, with which it bears visual resemblance as well. The face gets a large hexagonal chrome grille flanked by swept back LED headlamps. The front bumper gets contrasting elements for the fog lamps and a rugged skid plate. The Hilux is slightly longer than its sole competitor, the Isuzu D-Max V-Cross and gets body cladding over the wheel arches which house the 18-inch alloy wheels. On the inside, it shares parts with the Fortuner like the 8-inch touchscreen infotainment system, instrument cluster and the steering wheel. Safety features include 7 airbags, a tire angle monitor, active traction control and an automated limited slip differential. The Hilux comes powered by a 2.8-litre four-cylinder diesel engine that produces 204 horsepower and 420 Nm of peak torque. Transmission options include a 6-speed manual or a 6-speed automatic only in a 4x4 configuration. The Hilux also gets an electronic differential lock and a low-range gearbox for better off-road ability and also offers a water wading depth of 700mm. Lexus has commenced bookings of the 2022 NX350H in India. The new NX is slated for launch in the coming weeks and carries forward the overall look of the previous generation model though it now gets a sharper design. The split headlamps on the outgoing model are replaced by single-piece units and there is a larger version of the company's spindle grille up front. There are new bumpers, a longer bonnet and a new set of tail lamps which are now connected by a light bar. Changes on the inside include a touchscreen infotainment system, a digital instrument cluster and a new steering wheel. The new NX will be a step up from the outgoing 300H version and will be introduced with a 350H powertrain that pairs a 192 horsepower, 25 liter petrol engine with a pair of electric motors on each axle. The combined power output in the all-wheel drive form is 244 horsepower. While there are other powertrain options available in the international markets, Lexus hasn't revealed the details of the India spec model yet. The 2022 NX350H will be introduced in three trims, exquisite, luxury and export and is expected to be priced in the 60 to 70 lakh rupees price range in India. And coming to two-wheelers now, there's some anticipation of excitement from Honda. Honda has trademarked its XADV name tag in India. The company uses its name in the international markets to sell a unique vehicle that is a crossover between a maxi scooter and an adventure motorcycle. The XADV gets wide spoke wheels with block pattern tyres and a suspension travel of 150mm. It also gets keyless ignition, Bluetooth enabled TFT display and 5 riding modes. The adventure scooter comes powered by a 745cc parallel twin engine and gets a 6-speed semi-automatic dual clutch transmission. The engine produces 59 horsepower and 69 nm of peak torque and there is no clutch or gear lever. While Honda hasn't revealed any launch plans yet, if introduced, the XADV could go up against the likes of the BMW C400 GT which was introduced as a premium maxi scooter in India last year. And finally, there are some more delays from Ola in the delivery of its electric scooters. After announcing a free upgrade for all customers of its base S1 electric scooter to the hardware of the higher S1 Pro trim, Ola Electric has now communicated to its customers that the S1 scooters will only be produced by the end of this year. The company has stated that the major chunk of its pre-bookings is for the S1 Pro variant and it is therefore prioritizing its production. While Ola Electric opened the final payment window for all customers of the S1 scooter on January 21st, buyers of the S1 will continue to be offered with a restricted S1 Pro scooter, with the customer having the option to unlock all features by paying an additional 30,000 rupees. And that's all the news we have this week. Thank you very much for watching. See you again next week with more news and more scoops from the exciting world of automobiles. Till then, keep enjoying Autocar India.